Hey, everybody. Hope you guys are excited for uh, the angler. Should be uh, quite a fun time today. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Oh, that's not good, Isaac. That is not good, man. Yeah, Roman, it does look pretty good. It's a good game. It's pretty much exactly like I would have expected as well. Like, it's not necessarily the, like, most realistic fishing game ever created, but it definitely has the largest world with tons of different places to fish. Uh, lots of very well-modeled fish species. It really reminds me of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Like, it's a little bit more fast-paced, but it's also got enough realism to drag you into it. And today we're going to be uh, doing a bunch of different uh, fishing. Going to target as much a uh, different species as we can, but we're going to start by going up to one of my favorite spots. I'm going to have a video going up on this location, I believe, tomorrow. This area is amazing. And look at this, guys. Running water in an Expansive Worlds game. Isn't that incredible? We didn't think it could be done since Call of the Wild doesn't do running water very well. But they did it. They somehow did it in the angler. Isn't that just beautiful? Hey, Mike, how's it going, man? Hey, Brady. Hey, Duxton. Hey, Deliberate. Up we go. Let's get to fishing. Hey, CJO, how's it going, dude? I know, right, Sam? It blew me away when I first saw it. Like, running water in an Apex Engine game? What is this? I'm glad that they managed to make it work. Because I know a lot of people were worried that there wouldn't be any running water. Now, there is currently a known issue where the water looks faster than it actually is, but that is uh, going to be fixed. Hey, Shadow Wolf, how's it going? Hey, Eno. Hey, Graham. Don't fall in. Don't worry, bro, bro. I'll be sure to jump in instead of falling in. Yeah, Sam. Definitely, man. It's a good game. It's a lot of fun. Let's head up river, and we're going to try and catch ourselves some rainbow trout to start the day. And then we might go after some bass, maybe some lake trout, maybe some catfish even. Lots of good stuff to go for. Yeah, it's pretty good, Logan. It's uh, quite a fun game. Like I was saying, it's definitely not like, um... It's definitely not like a Way of the Hunter levels of realism in the fishing genre. It is very much like the Hunter Call of the Wild, where... It's got such a beautiful environment, a massive, very explorable environment. With uh, a decent amount of action. Uh, Zach, thank you so much for the two months, dude. Really appreciate it. Name the first fish of the stream, Bobby. <laughs> I guess we could. We'll, we'll name him Bobby Boy. Appreciate the uh, membership, dude. Welcome back. Alright, let's see. What setup do I want to use? I think this is the one that I just bought last night. Yes, this one's a little bit heavy for trout. This might be the way to go. Ah, let's do that one, actually. Let's do a little bit of a lighter setup. Oh, there's a fish right there. And then let's go with... Probably that spinner right there. I see that fish just chilling out there, guys. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get that little dude. Oh yeah, we got his interest. He is definitely interested. I think that might be you, Carter. Oh, maybe he's not interested. Alright then. They definitely do, Sam. I love the gloves. Very well done. Is he going for it now? Oh, you now he actually is going for it. I don't know what he did before. He was kind of like faking me out. 
Yeah, as of now, we don't know what consoles it's going to be on, guys. They have not announced uh, anything related to the consoles yet. We do know that it will be on console. As for what consoles, it's hard to say. There's our first fish of the day. There we go. A silver 9.80 pound uh, rainbow trout. And then if we hit tab, we can actually take a look at it just like this. Beautiful. Love to see it. Let's see. See if we can spot any particular fish we want to target. I see a couple out. Ooh, that one. Uh, there's actually a pretty decent sized fish right there. Let's cast past him and then reel back over top of him. See if we can maybe get him to bite. Yes, yeah, same CJO. It's pretty nice. I think one of my... So far, one thing that I would like to see, one of my biggest uh, things that I'd like changed at the moment is how easy it is to get fish to bite. I would like to see it tweaked a little bit so they don't consistently bite the same lures. That is my one like major piece of feedback right now is that sometimes it's like whenever you get the right lure, you don't have to worry about how you retrieve it past them anymore. They just kind of bite. So I would like to see that changed, and you know what's amazing is the Angler's developers are so open to feedback and making changes based on what the general consensus is of what needs to be changed, which is amazing to see. Like, I thought Way of the Hunters developers were, like, some of the most active I've seen, but the Angler devs have been just constantly talking with us and trying to get our uh, opinions on things, which is amazing. I love to see it. I really got a feeling that this game is going to be so good. Like within the next year or two, once it's had some updates and they've tweaked some things, I think this will be probably the best fishing game ever created. Simply because of how uh, communicative the devs are. Like, they have been on top of things with us. Well, Easton, you will have to see in uh, tomorrow's video. Yeah, I would like to see bottom rods at some point. There's a lot of different, uh, like, fishing styles I'd like to see. And I'm assuming that as they add more locations, we'll get stuff like that. There we go. Got another fish. That one next to it looks really big, though. Way bigger than the one we hooked into. There we go. Let's see. Another silver. Another silver rainbow. Yes, one map at launch. But there is so many different water bodies that honestly one map is plenty. I really want to get that guy right there. He seems to be at least a gold. Yeah, hello, you can. You can see the fish in the water. It's amazing. Oh, there. He's actually going for it now. Finally, we got that guy to go after it. Well, something to remember, uh, Siege, is that it's a Call of the Wild game at the end of the day. Things are going to be kind of towards the high end of what they would weigh. You gotta remember, like, Call of the Wild, they push the limits on the diamonds. Like, the diamonds are what would be considered, like, world records IRL. So, it's pretty, uh, pretty typical that this would be the type of fish you would see in a game like this. I expected it, at least. I expected a lot of the bigger fish to kind of push the limits of what's possible. That's a big one. 13.73. We finally got ourselves a gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good little fish. Let's get a picture. I got some credits for that one as well. So essentially the way the earning credits works is you get credits from leveling up. And I believe you get it for like increments in your level as well. Like um, 
you'll earn like some credits like a quarter way through, you'll earn some credits like halfway through, you know, stuff like that. The higher your level gets, the more credits you'll get. You don't actually earn money from the fish themselves. It's from uh, leveling up your character and I believe for mastering your tackle as well. I could be wrong there, but I think it is. Oh, there, wow, that was fast. That's the quickest one yet. There we go. There is no salt water on launch, Roman. It's just got one reserve as of now. And just like Call of the Wild, they plan to add a bunch more maps and gear and things like that over time. But they're starting with just uh, one freshwater location. Silver, 9.73. This has been easily the greatest... Uh... Oh, there we go. We leveled up. This has so far been the most insane fishing location I've found. Uh, nowhere else have I had such consistent fish. This location is insane. So many fish in this little uh, pool right here. I mean, I don't see it really reminding me of the Dovetail games. I've played all of the Dovetail games and to me they always seemed like copy-paste garbage. The Dovetail games, they always just recycled their previous game and just changed the fish that were there. That was it. That was all that the Dovetail games ever changed. I mean, this is like a completely different experience being able to go through a giant map like this and fish all the different locations. What should we go for now? Riptide, thank you for the seven months, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm kind of thinking... Since I haven't done a lot of it, maybe we will go for some lake trout. The lake trout have been kind of difficult for me to find. Oh, you can fast travel to a ton of locations. Oh boy, yeah, I played Russian ready? Fishing 4. The only thing that made me stop playing that game was the kind of like pay to advance faster type of um, game model, I guess. Okay, what reel did I want to buy? I forgot. There was a particular reel I wanted to purchase that would go well with this. Ah, yes, I remember. I remember now. Ooh, not quite there. Okay, so I need like 229 more credits. So I guess we'll go out and try to get ourselves a couple big males. Uh, what do you mean, Steve? Could you clarify a little bit more? Are you talking about, like, when they're going to the surface? Because, I mean, that's what trout do in real life. I've seen uh, quite a few trout growing up as... I spent many of my summers doing uh, nothing but trout fishing here in Oregon. And the trout act pretty realistically when it comes to rising to the top to grab something off the surface. Unless you're talking about the actual strike of the lure. But as far as them just, uh, rising to the top to grab, like, a bug off the surface, that's pretty realistic from what I've seen. Yeah, maybe at some point, Dante. I'd like to. I've been having some issues with Apex Connect, but, um, that should get sorted out eventually. Of course, I've always had issues with Apex Connect ever since it launched, so... Hard to say. I mean, I'm not dropping frames, guys. Why is it, uh... I'm not even dropping frames. What is going on? It says it's running at full speed. Seems okay now. 
it's strange because um, it shows that I'm running at the full bitrate. It's not dropping any frames at all, but then it tells me I'm dropping frames. It's so weird. I don't get YouTube sometimes. YouTube is confusing. It is a confusing beast. Uh, what do we want to use here? We're going to have to go with the, the heavy rod for lake trout, I believe. Alright, let's see. Well, we'll just cast out and see how things go. We'll let it sink. Uh, not sure, Connor. They haven't really talked about it. Oh, it did deadfall, so it's just a YouTube thing then. Yeah, it's hard to say, Hollow. It could be. Um, I went ahead and ordered a new PC since, uh, well, not, not a full PC, but a bare bones one without the graphics card. Uh, since my CPU is like six or seven years old and is probably at its prime. Ooh, there's a pike. But yeah, I just went ahead and ordered a new PC. So hopefully, once we get that here, I won't have as many uh, issues with like CPU usage overloads since my, my old i7 isn't doing as good as it used to. Little pike just chilling right there. Yeah, definitely a uh, winter moose. Lake trout are cool. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea yet, Hollow. I'm gonna say CPU because I was having some issues recording. Is it worse or better than Call of the Wild FPS FPS wise? Well, I'm getting like 80 FPS right now. 80 on pretty much the max settings. I think the only thing that isn't maxed out is shadows. Uh yes, Columbia, they are. See lots of pike here. Lots of pike just chilling near the surface. That sounds about right, Zach. You know, that's basically been my experience here in uh, the angler. I've caught one lake trout. And then I broke the uh, the other one off that seemed like it was massive. Nobody knows what consoles it's going to be on yet. They have not announced anything console related. As That's actually a big pike now that I look at it again. Hmm. Might need to real quickly focus that guy. I'm going to cut line. I want to get that guy as quickly as we can. Um, yeah, sure that works. Hopefully he'll bite it. Honestly, we might want to go to the frog. Wait, is he going for it? I can't tell. I think he is. Please. There, please let this guy be as big as I think he is. This is a pretty heavy rod setup, so he shouldn't be too hard to reel in. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty big if he's pulling line out. Gold, 13 pounds. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's definitely harder to start out, Steven, because you can't fish for the big fish until you earn some uh, money to buy tackle. You have to start with some of the smaller fish, like most uh, fishing games. That's a good pike. Not bad at all. Uh, we got a couple more. 
There's one right there. This area's got way more pike than I've seen anywhere else on the map. This might be the place to be. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, guys. It's definitely YouTube because I'm not losing any frames. Like, I'm not losing any bitrate. It's still running at full. YouTube's doing great. YouTube is just doing fantastic, man. I wonder when YouTube will ever, like, uh, work properly. You know, first YouTube failed to send out notifications of today's video. Uh, now YouTube's failing to... Have a smooth stream. Gotta love it. Gotta love YouTube being YouTube. It really has, uh, Richard. It really has. That fish is about to bite, I think. Yep, there we go. Which then, I don't stream on Twitch, so... Can't really do anything there. I think there should be enough credits to buy the uh, reel that I want, but... We're gonna continue... Fishing for these pike because I haven't actually found too many pike previously. Oh, definitely, Zach. Definitely not. Why would they do that? There we go. Another one. Well, I don't think they'll ever do great ones in this game as it is a different uh, development team. You know, it's the same studios. It's a... Uh, or the same... Uh, yeah, same studio. It's still Avalanche, but... It's a different dev team, so I don't think they're going to do great ones. Couldn't see them doing that. Yeah, it's a bug, TN. They're, they're actually older. It's just showing up as young. Due to some uh, bugginess that's happening. They have uh, fixed it, though. For those of you that are not familiar with it, now the developers said that you must back up your save file before doing this. However, they did release a beta build of the next update for Way of the Hunter. So if you're on Steam, you can opt into that. However, they said to make sure you back up your save first, just in case it uh, corrupts it. So you can test out the beta branch of uh, Way of the Hunter. Just make sure you back up your save file first, and if you don't know how, they tell you in their Discord. So for those of you that are having issues with it, I would try that out. Hmm, where do we need to go? I'm trying to think of where, where would we find ourselves some lake trout. They love the deep water. I honestly think that pretty much anywhere that's super deep should be okay. Uh, no rare fish as of now. Maybe in the future, though. Vamos, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing good. Got my first 500 whitetail in Way of the Hunter. That is amazing, dude. I still have yet to get a 500 scoring animal. Really would like to get one, though. Maybe, maybe one of these days. Now let's try the swim bait. I have not used a swim bait yet. Hey, Mason. Hope you've been doing well. I'm not sure, Dylan. It's really going to depend on uh, how things go over the next few days. Oh, definitely, Chris. I'd like to see uh, fish finders in the game. Fish finders, depth finders, all that stuff. Um, the way I'm seeing it right now, Hollow, I think the actual fish fighting and, like, um, stuff like that, and obviously the variety of fish because it just released, isn't quite to the level of Fisher Online. However, the big open world and just having the freedom to fish anywhere you want on a map that's, like, 
half the size of the hunter call of the wild i think that greatly makes up for it i think we got a lake trout as well finally i think we finally have a lake trout this seems pretty big because it's adding a decent bit of tension onto my heaviest rod i think we got a small to medium sized lake trout on i hope at least because i've only caught one of these so far so getting another would be great yeah, I think is it's definitely not um, like the fishing mechanics and the the way the fish look and behave isn't necessarily to the level of uh, the Fisher Online or um, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. However, like I was saying, the open world greatly makes up for that. That's a silver lake trout, 15 pounds. Wow, crazy that a 15 pounder is a silver man. Oh, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time going for lake trout. I think. These things are fun. Definitely puts the heavier tackle to the test. What a big male. They also seem relatively rare. I have not seen a lot of lake trout. Yeah, hopefully, Spencer. Like I was saying, though, I think the exploration and stuff like that is enough to keep me playing for now. I definitely want to see some more work go into like animations and maybe randomizing things a little bit more like maybe giving each fish its own like personality and what I mean by that is make it so like each individual fish maybe has different levels of skittishness different levels of uh, I guess like smarts when it comes to knowing what's a lure and what isn't and avoiding things like that. I'd like to see it to where like uh, not every fish will bite the same lure that the others will bite. Because right now it's pretty much just pick a lure that that species likes and they're pretty much going to bite it. So I would like to see that uh, change a little bit so that uh, not every single fish will bite a lure that's good for that species. And like, I want to see how, I want to see it be like for some fish, you got to switch it up. Yep, YouTube being YouTube again, guys. YouTube being YouTube. That's not, uh, it's not on my end, uh, Rancor. YouTube's having problems today. It's been happening to everybody else that's streaming. It is a, a YouTube issue, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it. Kingdom K, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Guys, the, um, it's, it's not on my end, it's YouTube. My uh, bitrate is going strong. YouTube is having some major problems today. So, yeah. For those that are that are seeing lots of lag, it's YouTube. They're being very strange today, which is unfortunate. Of course, the, the day that the Angler Early Access starts, YouTube would just have to be like this. Let me, let me try something real quick. Let me tab out and then tab back in. That worked a long time ago. We'll, we'll see if it works this time. we got a pretty big fish on I think this is our biggest fish yet imagine raid that would suck man it's only a silver at 23 pounds that's crazy Wow a 23 pound lake trout is a silver. Yeah, YouTube's being trash right now. And the reason that I know it's YouTube and not me is because it's telling me that I've got dropped frames, right? But then when I actually look at Streamlabs, it's not actually dropping any bitrate at all. It's going very steady. 
very steady for the most part. It says I have 0% dropped frames, but I don't know. Something to remember, Jeff, is that Call of the Wild was the same. Like, the Hunter Call of the Wild was the same when it first released, and then they kind of updated it over the years. Uh, the Angler's devs are very open to feedback and have been, like, super active with us creators and seeing what things we think need tweaked. So I would not be surprised if in a few months or a year they fix up some of the clunky fighting and animations. Just uh, make sure to voice your opinions in, like, their Discord channels and... Uh, social media and things like that because the angler devs seem like some of the most ready to change things based on what we want uh, that I've ever seen in a, a development studio or in just a development team in general yeah it's a big male Yeah, Chris, I'm hoping that those will be in-game as well. That'd be crazy. Alright, are you guys able to see it or is it being being weird again? How's YouTube doing? Is it uh is are you actually able to see things now or no? I don't know if I should restart the stream, uh Kingdom usually restarting the stream uh, hurts the stream more than it helps it because a lot of times if I like close the stream down and then start it up again nobody will get notified that I've gone live again YouTube's got some problems for sure yeah it's so strange Osgard I'm not sure why it would be like that So strange. I know, right? The gamer YouTube being YouTube. Yeah, Steven. Like I was saying, I, I can even say that the the fight mechanics are not there yet, but they've got they've got a good basis. Like for this game having just released, it's got a good foundation. I love the open world and stuff like that. But it definitely needs some work in places, and I'd like to see them kind of focus on, like, fish animations, fish behavior a little bit more. Other than that, though, loving it. For me, the exploration is what is huge. On let me, let me look real quickly, guys. Let me do a speed test, see if maybe it is on my end, but I think it's just YouTube. I think YouTube is just being stupid today. Uh, I mean, my upload's the same as it always is. Yeah, it's gotta be YouTube. I think YouTube's just having issue gu issues, guys. Yeah, we could try restarting, I guess. 